Hey guys, Mrs. Wilson here, back with some more information on your directing paper. I know I sent you that first video out, but I am kind of experimenting with new online methods of presenting my information and assignments. So I'm going to do an, another video, and hopefully this gives you a little more information to help you out. So here we go. Director paper. Okay, your paper. Um, you will do in three phases. So we're going to talk about phase one, which was actually last week. So this is what you should have already done. But if you have not already done it, then um, listen up. So you are going to look at the list of great directors that I gave you earlier in the email. Choose a film director that you would like to know more about. And you're going to research and learn about that director. So let's go to the list of great directors. So I sent you this email with all the kind of specifics and at the bottom are possible directors you might look at. Uh, most of these directors, you're going to find information on the internet. These are all well-known directors with great films. Um, some popular films with younger students might be um, M. Night Shyamalan. I think I spelled his name wrong. Um, Wes Anderson, uh, Spike Lee. Um, probably Peter Jackson. You've probably watched some of his films. Um, let's see, Coen Brothers, they are one of my favorite film directors. And Alfred Hitchcock, we saw one of his films uh, in our video production class. But anyways, take a look at some of these, type their name in, see what films they have made. Um, so, there's Supposed to research a director. How do you research a film director? What does that mean? Well, you go to the internet and you type in their name. You will see a bunch of articles. Um, information will come up. Read those. Just kind of learn about them. Go to the YouTube. Type in their name. See what videos come up. A lot of people make YouTube videos on famous directors because people love movies and they love their directors. So they put videos together. So do that. Also, go to my YouTube channel, um, Shirley Wilson. Uh, if you go to playlists, um, I have a playlist called Film and Video Resources. So if you can click on that, so let's go ahead and go to my YouTube channel. There we go, JHS Jackson High School, Film and Video Production. So um, if you go over to playlists right here, click on that, you will notice I have a bunch of different categories of films. I have storytelling videos. So this is some of those video storytelling um, projects that you did in video production class, music videos, uh, video announcements. Uh, that's our broadcast journalism assignment. Um, just different related videos. Short films. This is from my film class. So past students, um, their films I've put in here. And then I have this uh, playlist called online lectures, film and video production, and your end videos, and then film and video resources. So if you go to the online lectures, that's where I'm putting any lecture I do, like this one it will be on there. Those other ones I sent you, those will be on here as well. So if you look in your emails and you, you're like, oh, I know I sent you an email and you can't find it, just go here and look here and it will always be here. Okay, so film and video resources. Let's click on that. If you go here, I have put some specific videos that relate to film and video production. So my video class, they're working on a lighting assignment. So I've given them two lighting videos. Direct, you guys are working on a directing assignment. So I have two videos here that I found. One's about M. Night Shyamalan, and the other one is about Wes Anderson. I will periodically, when I see something I think is really good, I'll add it to here. But you might want to look at these two directors and just so you can kind of see what is a film auteur. How, why are directors famous? What, what, what makes them who they are? Because anybody can be a director, but a film auteur is different. There's somebody who has a unique style of their own. When you watch one image from their film, you know who directed that. Wes Anderson, um, brilliant director. He is known for his production design, like Tim Burton. You see his images, you watch some of his films, 
you can pinpoint who he is because um, of the way he makes his movies. So anyways, check out the YouTube channel. Um, okay, so you finished phase one. You've learned about a director. You picked a director out. Now you're going to watch a movie. This is the hard part, right? You have to watch a movie for this class because it's a film class. So watch at least one film from that director. If you can watch two, watch two. Make sure to pick a director whose film or films are available on whatever streaming service you have access to. Um, phase three. This is probably the hardest phase. Uh, you are going to write a two-page paper on the film that you watched. You should be double-spaced and 12-point font. So how do you write a paper on a director? Well, I've given you um, some tips in the writing process, how to structure your paper. So this should kind of give you a guideline to get started. Your first paragraph or two should be an introduction. Basically, who are you writing your paper on? The name of the director, a brief introduction about this director. Then maybe at the next couple paragraphs, go into discussing the common genres, themes, and storylines that run through the director's films and the specific film that you watched. For example, Alfred Hitchcock, he works within the suspense genre. So that would be something to mention if you're writing on him. Um, he has a lot of different themes that you see run through the body of his work, through his films. You see the same things over and over. Um, so talk about those things. Then I want you to go into the production elements. Discuss production elements that they are known for and give examples of what you saw in the film that you watched. So production elements include things like the camera, lighting, production design, actors, and editing. Some directors are known for using the same actors in their films. Some directors are known for having a static camera, never moving their camera. Um, some Japanese filmmakers are known for that, whereas some people are known for constantly moving their camera. Um, other people are known for their lighting styles. Other directors are known for their production design, um, like Wes Anderson, um, as well as editing. So talk about the specific production elements that that director you're studying uses. And then how did you see that in the film that you watched? And then finally, finish your paper with a conclusion, just kind of wrapping up that director. So hopefully this helps you in the writing process. So to stay on track this week, you should be watching a movie or two on this director. And maybe you can even start writing so that next week um, it isn't as difficult to, to remember what you, you watched in the past. Okay, this assignment is due on open this, Friday, April 10th. So that gives you a little time, but make sure that you are pacing yourself. Okay, so we do not know what's going to happen with school. Um, we're probably not going to know for another week or two. Um, I know they have pushed it back already, but it may continue to be pushed back. So we will take that as it comes. But if we're out of school um, for much longer, I have another assignment, assignment two, that you will do. And this assignment will be a creative assignment. Um, it will not be a writing assignment or a reading assignment. It will be you creating some type of movie, project, video images, and I'm working on that right now. So um, that's about all I have for right now. So go watch some movies.